Hey guys, Amit here from Phone Radar, and today we will do the tips and tricks for the Motorola Droid Turbo, the smartphone which was launched this week in India and has been available in the US through Verizon. This device is hot on the scene of uh, being the best smartphone, although it's only available in the few selected markets outside the US. It's available in Brazil and Mexico. The international variant is called the Droid Turbo, while in a few places it's also called as the Droid Max and in India it's called as the Moto Turbo. Now it's pretty much crazy because it's the same device but with different names. Nonetheless, here is the tips and tricks of this smartphone. First thing is migrating your data. You don't have to keep that old data of yours around if you don't want to look up the number or check the photos that you have captured with your old smartphone. Now that you have the Droid Turbo with you, you can easily migrate your email accounts, contacts, media contacts and almost everything from your previous smartphone. There are different ways to migrate on different mobile platforms. For Android devices, you can download the Motorola Migrate app from Google Play Store on your old device, whereas new ones come pre-installed with the same application. You have to make sure that both of these devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Now open Migrate on your Droid Turbo and select the app from your old device and uh, following the screen instructions you can complete the migration while if you are switching from iphone then you will have to select the iphone from after opening the motorola micro app. this app will ask you for credentials for your icloud account and google account to initiate a data transfer of your content from the iphone if you're switching from a feature phone you'll require a working bluetooth connection which needs to be established as you select the other phone type on the micro application Following the further on-screen instructions, you will be able to transfer your contents from that feature phone to the Droid Turbo. The next step is the tip about never losing your phone. You can protect your Droid Turbo by signing into the Protect Your Phone feature when you boot up the device for the first time. A notification will pop up for this feature. You will just have to tap on it and then you will be guided to the rest of the steps which will guide you to activate the Motorola's device management service. Where one of the things it offers is you to remote lock and wipe clean the storage of the lost or stolen handset. Moto Assist Motorola offers a series of personalized apps that can be of great help in certain case or use case scenarios. The Motorola Assist is an app on your Droid Turbo which can smartly adapt to your situation. There are four dif different basic modes including sleeping, driving, home and meeting modes. While sleeping modes lets you select the time of your sleep when you want to prevent the device from keeping you up at night. All the calls and notification alerts will be silenced, although you can optionally choose to allow your phone to set exceptions for the marked favorites in the People app. Now talking about how it can assist you when you are driving, well with the GPS turned on on your device, the device mode will be automatically on and it can detect the movements. You can select options from your phone to enter hands-free mode when activated. The app will speak aloud the names of incoming callers and messages coming to your phone. As well as it is capable of uh, automatically starting the music play in your car studio provided you have a Bluetooth enabled sound system. When the home mode is enabled, the device will enter into talk to me mode where it will detect if you are at your home address or not. If yes, then it will read out all the names of incoming callers and any messages as well while it's reversed in the meeting mode as the phone will be silenced whenever any calls, messages or alarms come through. Comments for your Droid Turbo The device comes with enhanced voice control capabilities which allows you to speak commands to your phone even while the device is in sleep mode. Though by default the option is disabled but that can be quickly enabled by opening the Moto app and typing the microphone icon. You can customize the launch phrase, it can be anything which is limited to OK and Google Now in most of the cases. Note that longer phrases respond better than shorter ones like Hello would not be a good choice than Hello Droid Turbo. Now to use the voice command simply speak the launch phrases followed by a question. Ok Google Now, how old is Narendra Modi? Narendra Modi is 64 years old. Enabling the gesture controls, the Droid Turbo has built-in infrared sensors that allows you to take advantage of the unique gesture controls. To enable the same, you need to launch the Moto app, then tap on the settings in the top right corner, and then select Moto Actions. You can uh, select Try Moto Actions. 
to see the recent notifications or check the time without pressing your Droid Turbo's power button, you have to enable option of approach from auto display. Your Droid Turbo will sense when you're reaching for it and light the display with the right information. You can wave away sounds or and alarms by selecting wave to silence. When you receive an incoming call or when your alarm starts going off, you have to wave your hand over the display. This will work best if you keep your hand within 6 inches of the bottom of the display. Advanced Calling There is a feature called Advanced Calling on the Droid Turbo where you can select the voice quality of the outgoing calls, making sure that the voice clarity heard on the receiving end is quite clear. The options include HD voice calling as well as video calling, but there is a catch that you should be on the 4G LTE network to use this feature. As for now, it's supported by the 4G connection only, which we are eager to test as the Airtel is going to roll out the 4G services in the city soon. Rapid charging is one of the most important feature of the Motorola Droid Turbo and uh, it's something different from the chargers that are already available in the market as it comes with some additional functionality that would boost the charging speed when the battery is lower than 78% but if the battery is above 78% then it would uh, charge the phone regularly although the phone does heat up a lot during the charging period. Wireless charging in the Droid Turbo Wireless charging is not much seen among the phones these days but there is an increase in the use of wireless charging. The Droid Turbo supports wireless charging. To use this, you need to place the phone on a charging pad accessory which is the QI enabled one. The native charging coils in the Droid Turbo would receive the electricity wirelessly from the charging pad and the phone would get charged. For the best results while charging, you need to place the phone as instructed. Data tethering options While data tethering is quite easy to use on most of the Android devices and considering that data Droid Turbo comes with the almost similar stock Android interface, it is not much different. However, the interesting part is that after turning it on, there are more options than the Android stock version, including where you can manage the devices, meaning that you can allow or remove the devices that are using your hotspot, as well as you can have control over how much time that connected device can use the hotspot. You can limit this from 10 minutes to 60 minutes and either put it on never turn off option. Now these were few of the most interesting tips and tricks for the Motorola Droid Turbo. Do check out the detailed view which we have covered last week about this phone after using it for around 2 months. This was the tips and tricks videos. Don't forget to add a thumbs up if you liked any of the tip and if you feel we have missed any of these, do let us know in the comment section below. This is Amit signing off and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.